Hello and welcome to Christian Filmworks Video Magazine. I am your host, John Martin, the editor of Christian Filmworks Print Magazine. I'd like to start off today with a film called Sarah's Hope. It is produced by Creation Six uh, Productions. Uh, Steve, the producer and director there, was uh, Steve Hudipol. I hope I pronounced your name right, Steve. Uh, could you tell us what inspired you or gave you the ideas for Sarah's Hope? Sarah's Hope was inspired by experience dealing with teenagers, including our oldest son, as well as my passion for spreading the truth of God's creation versus the lie of evolution. Our oldest son struggled with life in his late teens and was killed in a car accident in 2002. Thankfully, he is with the Lord, but so many kids today have no hope, in part due to being taught that life has no purpose. That's the message of evolution, no hope and no purpose. How do you envision the film helping the intended audience from which it was produced? I envision this film being seen by audiences of all ages, both in a home as well as a church setting. I pray that the film will inspire people who are hurting over the death of a loved one or family struggles or just people that don't think they have a lot to live for to realize that there is a reason to live and to be productive because we have eternity to look forward to with a new heaven and a new earth where there is no pain or sorrow according to Revelation 21. Um, that's something to get excited about in my opinion. I'd like to show a clip now from uh, Sarah's Hope. Come on, Sarah. No, Justin, take me home now. All right. But, Mom. No, we will talk about it in the morning. You get upstairs and go to bed. For 16 year old Sarah, life is no fun anymore. You and I lost a daughter, but Sarah lost her sister and her best friend. Hurting over the loss of her sister a year ago. But Lauren wouldn't have wanted you to put yourself. This nothing to do with Lauren. Sarah has traveled a fast and furious road with her boyfriend. Look. Going to a party in the middle of the night with those people is not my idea of fun. I'm really proud of you, Rebecca. Thanks, Dad. But then comes Rebecca, a classmate whose defense of creation. What about you, Rebecca? What do you think? I believe that God created the heavens and the earth and all living things in six days, just like it says in the Bible. Yeah, and I'm a giant marshmallow man. Remind Sarah of her sister's faith in God. Isn't God's creation awesome? As Sarah senses, there has to be more to life. She turns to Rebecca. Even though we can't see God, we can see his creation. It's all around us. And when we look at the evidence, evolution is impossible. So there has to be a creator. There's no other way we could have gotten here. And that's where hope comes in. Hope? From Creation 6 Productions, comes a heartwarming story of struggle, faith, and redemption, where hope is everything. Sarah's hope. You are so valuable to God, Sarah. Steve, how has the film been received so far? The film has been well received by those who've seen it. Unfortunately, I haven't done a good job in marketing Sarah's Hope. I do plan to pursue more marketing through Christian Radio. Um, I'm not sure if it ministers as well to teens as it does to adults, but I think that has to do with the viewer's current situation in life. If they're at a point of crisis or need, it will minister at a much greater level. The film is available on a couple of websites and has done relatively well there, considering it is a short film and not a feature. My sense is that you really need feature length films for two reasons. One is that we're used to it and, and expect that length, but the bigger reason is that you need two hours to both develop the characters and play out a story that's believable. Thank you very much, Steve, for your time. And now it's time for the archive report where we go back in the archive of Christian Filmworks magazine and feature one of the filmmakers there. <laughs> Today I'd like to feature a film called One Day in May. It was produced by Double Edge Entertainment, written and produced by Brian and Rebecca Kaufman. The film is about an abortion clinic, and I'll read about, a little bit about what the film is on the back of the cover. 
Drew believes in abortion is her only option. Matt's far from convinced, but he'll do anything for Drew, including standing by as she carries out her fateful decision. As the couple waits, a tense, sometimes sad, sometimes bizarre drama plays out. And the spiritual battle for Drew's unborn baby rages. Will she change her mind before it's too late? And will Matt stand up for what he knows is right? It's an eye-opening look at the trauma and heartache unfolding daily. One Day in May will challenge your heart and your mind with an intense story and excellent performances. I'd like to feature a clip now from One Day in May. But before you make up your mind, before any of you make up your mind, let me share something with you. See, um, not too long ago, I was sitting right there where you're sitting with my girlfriend. And we had these really big plans. I was an actor and she was a model. We used to joke about who was going to get their big break first. Well, of course she did. Man, did we party that night. About a month later, um, I was standing in the bathroom shaving. She came and told me she was pregnant. And things were just starting to happen for us. There was no room for a baby in our lives. We, we did the only thing we thought we could do. After she went in for the abortion, I never saw her again. led to that death right there in the treatment room. You know, they, they, they say it's safe and legal. Legal, yes. good thing that came out of that was that it, it opened my eyes as to how I was living and, and that I needed to make some changes in my life. Maybe it'll open your eyes too. That was One Day in May, produced by Double Edge Entertainment. If you'd like to know more about that film, uh, visit them online at www.twoedged.com. Well, that's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you'd like to know more about Christian Filmworks Magazine, please visit us online, www.christianfilmworksmagazine.com. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Please email us at christianfilmworks at yahoo.com. So until next time, I'm John Martin. Thanks for watching.